I try to run my own race. Yeah. Worry about my 10 hurdles, worry about my lane, and yeah. You can't get focused on what everyone else is doing because everyone has a different process. And yeah. So. When Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni shows up at a race, her competitors know that they have to be at their best. While all athletes definitely bring their A game in each competition, those who know Sydney and what she's capable of know what challenge she poses to them. At the recently concluded 2024 LA Grand Prix, McLaughlin once again showed everyone why she is among those at the top of the sport. With the Paris Olympics fast approaching, she is more determined than ever to maintain her top spot. She may have taken a few months to address a minor knee issue, but she's back dominating on the track again. Yes, Sydney is running towards being a part of the U.S. team for Paris, so to speak. Like many others, the 24-year-old is excited to get her Paris 2024 Olympic season in gear as she aims to dominate the track at whatever event or distance she eventually decides to compete in and break a record just as she lowered her world record to 50.68 seconds in Tokyo. I just want to be better than I was in Tokyo, improve upon myself. I don't know what event I'll possibly be doing, but just represent Team USA very well," McLaughlin Lavroni said in an interview. But more than just the race, Sydney would like to enjoy Paris and everything it has to offer. On the road to Paris, she has to make sure that she is ready for it, and that means competing again after taking time off for a few months. So, she did in fact when she made her long-awaited return to the track in April as a member of a women's 4x100 meter quartet at the Mount Sac Relays in California, she, along with her team, finished second place. Not too bad given that she hadn't competed in a few months. The 2024 Mount Sac Relays were held at the Hilmer Lodge Stadium in Walnut, California, United States for three days from April 17th to April 20th. The American hurdler and sprinter returned to the track competing in the women's elite 4x100 meter relay event. McLaughlin Lavroni, along with Kenny Harrison, Jenna Prandini, and Moralake Akinasun, ran for the Formula Kersey, securing second place behind Team International, comprising Dina Asher Smith, Rashidat Adeleke, Lene Tava Thomas, and Julian Alfred. While Team International clocked 42.03 seconds, Formula Kersey followed recording 42.93 seconds. Her next race, but notably her first individual race of the season, was earlier this month when she competed in her first hurdle race since August 8, 2022. At the recently concluded Oxy Invitational in Los Angeles, she secured the top spot. There, the Olympic champion and world 400-meter hurdles record holder put together two convincing races as she continues her build-up to the Paris Games. Lining up in two races outside her specialty at the Oxy Invitational, the 24-year-old American ran an impressive 100-meter hurdles in 12.71 seconds, six hundredths of a second off her personal best set in 2021. She then followed this with another win in the 200 meters, recording a win-dated time of 22.38 seconds. She was next expected to compete at the 2024 USATF Los Angeles Grand Prix held at UCLA's Drake Stadium a few days ago. And she did. And she did so spectacularly. At the event, the two-time Olympic champion blazed to victory in the women's 200 meters. From the gun, McLaughlin Lavroni raced a step above the competition at UCLA. By the first turn, the 2022 world champion had already broken away. She continued to blaze through the final stretch where she clocked 22.07, a new personal best. What's more, the US track and field superstar set a new personal best time of 22.07 seconds, a mere five hundredths of a second off the world lead. It was a shocking result for McLaughlin Lavroni, who specializes in the 400-meter hurdles. Yes, you heard that right. She outran Abby Steiner, the U.S. indoor record holder in the 200 meters and 300 meters. What a feat! Steiner finished second with 22.32 seconds, while Gabby Thomas, the Olympic bronze medalist and world silver medalist, was sixth in 22.68 after running a 100-meter a little more than 90 minutes earlier. Thomas later took to X, formerly Twitter, to explain that she was less than 100% but wanted to race anyway, out of regard for the fan experience. She wrote, Obviously, didn't look like myself today. It happens every season when I compete in the middle of this training block. But I committed to the meet long ago and I just can't pull out when fans look forward to seeing us compete. I'm okay, everything is going according to plan. 
Meanwhile, Brittany Brown took third place with 22.35 seconds. Pretty good. McLaughlin Lavroni exclaimed post-race, good enough for the second fastest in the world this year to NCAA collegian Mackenzie Long's 22.03. Anyhow, the commanding victory announced Sydney's return to form after an injury sidelined her for much of the 2023 season, including the World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Hungary. Still, when discussing her victory at the 2024 LA Grand Prix, she noted the strength of the start list for the women's 200 meters, which included Tokyo 2020 bronze medalist Gabby Thomas and double relay world champion Abby Steiner. For herself, she admitted that there are things she can always work on, before adding, I think for a PR and second 200 meter this year, can't complain. She did, however, confirm that it wasn't her intention to run the 200 meters at Paris 2024, even though her time made her eligible for entry and selection in the U.S. Olympic team trials. She chose to view the race as a tune-up for the 400-meter hurdles instead. It's just a good gauge of where you are, and I think that's what these are, helping me see where I'm at and what I need to improve on, she said. She further shared, Honestly, I think we just started the season out just seeing where it went. I think today's race was just trying to see where we are speed-wise. Her season is headed back to the 400 hurdles, an event where she broke the world record four times in 2021 and 2022, lowering it to 50.68 in winning the 2022 Worlds. She ruled out attempting a 400 and 400 hurdles double in Paris. That said, after testing her speed over 200 meters in California, she may run some 400 meter races in the coming weeks to continue to do the same. Sharing that her knees feel great, Sydney had hoped to run sub-22 at UCLA's Drake Stadium. Still, despite registering the slowest reaction time in the nine-runner field, she achieved the Olympic standard while convincingly beating runners-up Steiner, Brown, Rashidat Adeleke, Jenna Prandini, and Olympic and world silver medalist Gabby Thomas. Needless to say, Sydney McLaughlin's 200-meter exploits left even Michael Johnson, an American retired sprinter who won four Olympic gold medals and eight world championship gold medals, highly impressed. He went on to call her the ultimate racer for her ability to constantly win races. Quoting a World Athletics post, he wrote, This was a very good field. Sydney is the ultimate racer. There's a difference in ability to run fast times and ability to beat people. The best racers consistently beat people. The World Athletics post itself already has more than 150,000 views only a day after it was posted. This performance is only barely quenching the fans' thirst to see Sydney compete this season, and they will definitely be seeing more from her. Like Sydney, countless athletes around the globe aim to be present and compete at this year's Summer Olympics. Watch this to see for yourself.